Hey everybody, Lindsey Smith here with your business tip this week. This week I want to give you a simple tip to help your sellers see the light when it comes to pricing their home properly. I know we all deal with sellers who have pipe dreams about um, how much they're going to get for their homes, but I want you to make sure you always have a, a list of tools in your toolbox to help the seller sort of see the light and price their home correctly. So here's my tip. Obviously we all know when homes get the most amount of showings. And that's typically right at the beginning. You put it out in the marketplace, people who are already looking for those homes are set up on searches, they've been driving around the streets, they'll see a new sign come up, there's you know initial set of interest, everyone wants to see the listing, and then the showings start to sort of peter off and, and you know drift off into oblivion sometimes. So it's so important to price the property correctly the first time. Now your sellers typically know that. And so one of the things they might think is, well, what a better time to have it out at an aggressive price because we might catch a buyer right away. Well, think about this. Who are the buyers that are going to look at your home right away? Chances are these buyers are set up on searches. Um, they've been looking for that type of home already, and that's the people you're going to catch. These people are, have already been in the market. They've already looked at the other competition. So they are better educated than people who are just starting the home searching process. So now you are putting your home out there in front of better educated buyers who have already seen homes that were priced less than yours that have more features and now you think your property is more likely to sell with a more educated group? It seems absolutely absurd. If anything, we have to wait until some buyer who's just getting into the market, hasn't seen anything else, and falls in love with your home instantaneously. But we have a problem because pretty soon the demand for your home, the longer it sits in the marketplace, will start to drift out and be almost non-existent. And as we know that when the demand drops off and the supply is still there, prices go down and you end up playing this price reduction game. So while that dream buyer might come on, we might not find them for the next you know, three months. And now they're gonna also look and see, well, why has this home been sitting in the market for so long? And it's going to start to open up even more questions. So pricing your home initially is so important because you're going to get the biggest group of educated buyers who have already been looking at other homes in the marketplace come to see your home. And if you're not positioned properly in regards to you know, the souls that have happened in addition to the competition that's out there, you're going to have a heck of a time trying to get that astronomical price that you desire. So that was kind of a, a mix of me talking to you and as I'd be explaining to the seller. But think about that. Think about who the people that are going to be viewing the home are initially and why it's so important to communicate that to your seller to get the best price possible. Consider using that tip in addition to the other tools you already have. And all the best in selling a lot more listings for the rest of the year.